We are back here in the kitchen <laughs> with Blue Ribbon winner Linda Skeens to make another dish for Thanksgiving. I might be a little biased, but my favorite dessert for a holiday is definitely banana pudding. So well, how do you make yours? <laughs> it's very simple. You take three boxes of vanilla instant pudding, okay. this small, six cups of milk, whisk it together, put eight ounces of sour cream, eight ounces of Cool Whip, mix that together, mm -hmm. dump your whole box of these in it, vanilla wafers, about five or six bananas sliced and stir it together, that's it. So you just stir yours together. I've seen where some people, they do the pour method, but you're a stir it nah, and just eat I'm it all together. A lady w told me, she watched me do this cooking video on my home and she said she loved the way I just dumped it in there and didn't measure it and just didn't stir it. She said that was the best way to do it. You just did it. Well, is this a recipe that was passed down to you and you modified it or is this something that you just kind of did on your own? Uh, actually, my mom did it sort of like that, but she didn't put the sour cream and cool whip. They okay. just did it the old fashioned way with mm -hmm. the pudding and I added that and like it myself. So what does the sour cream do for it? Just gives it a better flavor, I think. Yeah, so when we talk about that, like how did you even think to mix the two? Because I know a lot of people do put sour cream in desserts, but you know, wh why this one? I don't know, it just turned out good. I try, to, I try stuff and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. And I, if it works, I'll stick with it. I love your method. You're like, I just try it. You just go for it. That's a uh -huh. lesson that we could all, you know, use in life is to just go for it. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, that's all right too. Yeah, there was one person, it was one of those big interviews I did. They said, uh, she said, how many trial runs do you make on your fudge for the fair? And I said, what do you mean? And she said, how many times? I said, one. I make it, cut it out, pick out the four best pieces and go with it. And if it wins, it does. And if it don't, it don't. Well, that's a great way to maybe look at Thanksgiving too for some <laughs> folks. If you're starting out Thanksgiving this year, maybe you're, you know, making dinner for the first time or making a dessert or something. But let's talk a little bit about, you know, I know with this, this is something you probably have to make the day before, right? You can make it the day before and let it yeah. sit or do you need to make it the morning of? You could, as long as it sits a couple hours, it's good. Yeah, well, I know that this is, some people like it warm, some people like it cool, but um, let's talk a little bit about some other things that you are suggesting for folks to do this Thanksgiving. I know we talked about, you know, planning out your menu, but let's talk a bit maybe about when you should buy those groceries. Oh, I've done got all my bought. <laughs> so I went the other day and finished up, well, went yesterday and finished up what I needed. So I got my ham and stuff. I got my turkey last week because the butter balls were on sale. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta get it when it's on sale. Yeah. Well, I know that there might be some folks that are at home and they're maybe thinking about trying one of your recipes or another recipe for the first time. What advice do you have for those folks that might be trying to put together something for the first time? I just say go for it, try it, and if you like it, I mean that's you know a lot of people tell me they what they like about my cookbook. All the recipes are very simple, mm -hmm. ingredients are easier to find, and it's good. Yeah. And they say they've made stuff in there that they've never made before, but they really liked it. Yeah, and I know that for a lot of folks, you know, some of these are that we're talking about today are the more traditional items mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. But let's say that they want to go out of the box. What what are some recipes you suggest they try maybe out of your cookbook or off the top well, of your head? Well, there's one in my cookbook that I may do this. I did it last year. It's a jalapeno corn casserole. Oh, yeah. Use cream cheese, cheddar cheese, jalapeno peppers, and chew peg corn three cans of it, you bake it, and it's, I think it's good. Oh, that sounds but good. Anything with jalapenos is usually good, yeah. It's not just you open your can of corn and put some butter in it, it's something different. Yeah, it's and a lot cheese. of a lot of these I'm sure are great to, you know, take over to a Friendsgiving or a holiday party. Mm -hmm. I know we have lots of those coming up, but what are some other suggestions that you have for folks that are maybe trying to serve a big group like that? Just make plenty is all I got to say because if you don't, you're going to run out. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess nobody wants to run out of food. That's no. the worst. Well, I know that I'm excited to come back and try this in just a little bit in the kitchen. I know Casey and Sarah, I think that they're going to be running in the studio. I know Mark's already over there <laughs> looking, but you can find all the recipes that Linda's making over on our website, WJHL.com. We'll post those right after first at four. But again, later on, we're going to be coming back here and trying all of these foods. I know that I can't wait. I've been waiting all day. We always wait for her to come around here but